Um, it's a, an electric Mini. Um, it's a 69 Mini Matic originally. Um, it's got a 144 volt battery pack. Um, it's got a uh, what they call an 8 inch impulse motor. Most of the uh, components have been sourced from the United States. Um, there are shops now in Australia who sell this, these products. Um, it's taken me probably 18 months to two years to convert, um, simply because of a lot of research to do and finding the components that work properly. And there's a, a heat exchanger of some yeah, sort here? that's for my, um, my controller, simply because so much power can go through it, you need some way to, to cool it, so that's what that heat exchanger is for, it's, it's water cooled. It's water cooled, yep. right. Yeah, well, the, uh, the big thing about the electric car, of course, is that the energy comes from the grid, so it could be uh, renewable energy coming from uh, wind power or solar thermal or photovoltaic systems. We're in the middle of a, or at the start, should I say, of a major conversion process for getting a renewable energy into our grid system. And so electric cars is one of the great ways of taking green energy and using it for transport. You haven't got any rear seats in there, no, so the the, uh, the rear passenger is your uh, is your battery pack. Yeah, that's right. At least it doesn't have to jump in and out very often. <laughs> the costs involved is fairly high, um, simply because I wanted it to go fairly quick. So um, it's probably cost between twelve and fifteen thousand dollars. With that, I'm still only using lead acid batteries. Um, if I installed li uh, lithium ion batteries, I'd probably could spend another eight thousand dollars just on the batteries alone but then again that would give me probably um, maybe 150 or 200 k range whereas with the lead acids I'm on about 35 to 40 kilometer range. The big issue with electric cars is not the cost of the power in fact it's the cost of the batteries because batteries have a finite life and uh, if you when you when you've discharged and recharged them a number of times then they become uh, unable to hold their charge and you need to replace them in order to get your range back again. So as we stand today, there are a few situations where a battery electric car is, is actually economical, you know, we'll, we'll give you a payback, but in most, for most users it wouldn't be. However, uh, the way things are going, uh, petrol prices will inevitably go up. We notice, for example, today the price of crude oil is one third what it was about a year ago. Uh, but petrol is only down by 30 or 40 percent. So what's going to happen when oil goes back up again, which it inevitably will because we are now at the peak oil point and the supplies are going to uh, uh, reduce and the petrol will be, be bid up as a result. So when petrol goes up and up and up, uh, electric cars will become more and more viable. The, the cost of electricity to run this, say, 100 kilometres, would probably be two dollars. Whereas, what's the average fuel consumption by a car is probably 12 litres per hundred, which is what 15 dollars. So, when it comes down to that, it's a lot cheaper. In the next year or so, so we're going to see what is currently a very much a fledgling industry uh, blossom into something much more significant, mm. because the economics are going to drive it that way. I've got some engineering to still be done. Um, and yeah, hopefully it'll be a daily driver, so to and from work. My work's only about 4Ks away, so the round trip's about 8Ks, so with, with that range it'll be fine.